Recording, recording. Snap. Crackle. Really, it didn't pop? I already popped. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't say pop. No, you, it snaps. That's what it is now. I know, but it's snap, crackle, pop, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Bro, are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? All right, over here with my cousin Colin choking on his beer. Today we were checking out a brand new band for Colin. It's not new to me. I've done a reaction on these guys from Dead Outside. Fantastic song, great breakdowns, great quality of music. These guys are from Florida, and I'm introducing this band to my cousin Colin over here. Florida. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. <laughs> Is that where Florida came yeah, from? Thanks. Really? I, think so. I don't know. Oh, okay, you have me convinced. Colin's in a band called uh, Hollow Core. Colin Core. I'm firing everybody else from the band. <laughs> it's gonna be a solo act. This is your notice now. Get out of my house. Rim shot. Nice. <laughs> there it is. I love this thing. Thank you, Road, for hooking us up with this. Uh, but we're checking out uh, Kill the Imposters' new song that just dropped. Yeah, the song is called As Above, but their EP that launched with this is called The Pain That Never Dies and it's released this day, today. We're doing this early, so <laughs> <laughs> the dates and stuff are just getting all mixed and matched. This? Get it on your playlist. I'm very excited for this. These guys have been great. Honestly, just working with these guys, checking out their stuff, uh, big shout out. They actually have a reaction channel as well. So I have dibble dabbled into it and got to know the, the lead singer a little bit just to see exactly what he's been doing. Uh, I told him I was kind of going through some editors and stuff, try to get a little bit caught up in that. And he actually offered, he said he has an editor on, on hand. And I'm like, oh shit. So I had to check him out a little bit more. So I just want to say shout out. Go check out his reactions as well. And uh, honestly, if this song is as good as Channy, my, uh, my my guy that goes through my emails and like scopes all this stuff out, filters everything out for you guys, uh, he says this is probably Bleh of the Year. Bleh of the Year? Bleh of the Year. And That's just, a high title to hold. <laughs> I know, trust me, <laughs> on our channel, it really is. So I'm excited to check this one out. Do you have any words? Bleh of the Year potential i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get that's it. all i gotta say <laughs> love it love it also we got some podcasts and stuff go check it out it's on the end card let's go caveman drums again oh fuck <laughs> he's the devil love that symbol Oh, bro. oh, this chair is good for this. <laughs> what? These guys sound tight. Oh, the little harmonic? Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my oh. god. Holy fuck. <laughs> They're still going. <laughs> Cheese and rice. Dirty. That was nasty. Dirty. Um, all right. You want to go first? I think I shit my pants. <laughs> Dude, I used to have that same problem. Like <laughs> when I get up and mosh, I lose half the mic. But that's why I love these these uh things from Roa because they actually interlock. They, they, Oh my god. Yeah, it's really nice for that reason. Just when I thought it wasn't going to get heavier, it got heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Um, the 808 in there, though. That oh, was nice. absolutely, yeah. I, I honestly think bands need to do that more, in my opinion. I miss the 808s, especially in like brand of or sorry, Breakdown of Sanity. 808s are usually like hidden nowadays in like the songs, but like that was nice. Or they don't go as ham on them. I feel like a lot of these bands, they just don't really make it just very noticeable. It's very soft. I think like some people think that it's like too over the top to throw it in there. Oh, people so are they're, they're scared to <laughs> use it. <laughs> Blow but, someone's speaker out oh, of them. If you're not blowing someone's speaker out, then like what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can't call yourself happy. <laughs> if you're not ripping out your headphone jack, then like what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, overall, I think this was a really good song. Uh, I mean, like the I like the simple chorus that was involved with that. I know you were like really attached to those pinches in there. <laughs> oh, I'm, dude, I'm a fan of pinch pinches, pinches all the way. Yeah, you got to throw them in every once in a while, and like I don't know, that was just like the right amount. the The video, I felt like the video was uh, it was good. It Are was you very used to this kind of video. <laughs> Yeah, like people it's, hanging themselves. Uh, no, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm used to For some them. reason, I'm used to seeing this, like a lot of the shit that I listen to. So I feel like you're more of a metalcore kind of guy or like even rock fan more I, than a deathcore like this. I'm more of like maybe like a progressive metal. But like, <laughs> so seeing shit like this, it's man, that's hardcore. Oh, speaking of progressive metal, have you seen, have you heard the new Sleep Token? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. That's what we'll double dip in. Do you hear New Periphery? Yes. Oh, yeah. you have? Yeah, okay. I have heard oh, New yeah. Periphery. Yeah. It's so good. A peri fairy, as some people <laughs> call it. I don't think I've ever heard that. <laughs> Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> um, yeah, these guys asked us, obviously, to be as brutal and honest as possible. Um, the vocals kind of got a little dry for me, just just the way that it was a little monotone. He's he's very good at what he does. Yeah. I, I kind of want to say dynamics of it are a little too monotone. Not not saying that it's bad. But it's, like, it's, it's the style of metal, yeah. I think, is what the thing is. Because, like, I'm not used to that either. And I've said this in many of my videos where I'm like, yeah, you know, like, it's great. It sounds good. It's nice and heavy. Mm -hmm. But, like, the monotone, like, kind of thing. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I think he's a really good vocalist on what he does. He's very good at what he does. And just even the black off there as well. I know Channing was saying, like, black of the year. I got to re-listen to it again. But, like, there was a couple of them there in that breakdown. I agree. I'd have to listen to it again. Yeah. I, I kind of want to listen to it just to like, I don't know, take it all in. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what's your thoughts on the guitars? I know you're more of a guitar guy, but like dirty, a very good, very good chugs. I, I'm always a fan of chugs. Yeah. I like the chugs. The breakdowns were phenomenal. And to keep a crowd moving with breakdowns for a whole song, not saying that it's just breakdowns, it's very hard to do. And it's it can be kind of tedious, but like they do it in like a way that I feel like it, I'm not hearing it mm. over and over again. But like I don't know, the whole song just makes me want to like fucking throw my arms around. Okay, and, well that's good. Yeah, because I, I think you definitely nailed it on the head with that as well. Because like I think there are bands out there that. Uh, that can't like if you're gonna be heavy and make it sound like you know a full song but still be like a breakdown almost yeah. the whole entire song I think this definitely did that as well yeah and sometimes bands just 
go stupid with it where it's just breakdown after breakdown and it doesn't really make sense so when you open up a tab and it's all opens <laughs> when it's all zeros and ones <laughs> yeah but to like get get it to get it to like make you want to move is a hard thing to do true but that's what it comes with the rest of the the, the music as well like yeah, when you exactly. when you start hearing the hi-hat just or even the symbol i the think it's just times? the crash where yeah the half times definitely make that as well half times drummers have like the ability to make someone like get up and like mm. either slow down or speed up and i think he did it in like the correct like spaces that needed it Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely agree. I definitely agree. Mm. This is cool. I actually kind of like mo doing these kind of reviews with you because it's like <sighs> you have a little bit more like I guess instrumental knowledge than I do. I I just hear shit. I'm like, yo, I like this. It sounds good. I'm more of a fan perspective. You are like more of a uh, a, a music perspective. Like you you know I, the half times. So. You you know like because like that's the thing. I don't sit here and write music or anything. I listen to it. So like. For you, you write music and you look for these things as mm -hmm. well to like, you know, I want to make the, the the crowd go wild at this part kind of thing. So mm -hmm. that, that's a really good point, though. Not I saying really... I do it well, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I can de I definitely notice it. Yeah. OK, that's good. Yeah, that's great. good. I'm definitely yeah. excited to check out the rest of the album. If you guys uh, definitely do, let me know what else we need to check it out. I might check out the whole album anyway. I like these guys. Uh, these guys are based out of Orlando and uh, Florida, Orlando, Florida. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Florida, Orlando. <laughs> Pimp this ride. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this just go check them out. Uh, Johnny's actually got some cool content on some reactions and stuff as well. Check it out. Check it out. That's all I got to say. Like this video. Subscribe. Go show him some love in the comments. Thanks so much. Have a good day. <laughs> That's it. Have a good day.